Early in your basic combat training, you'll be given your first physical combat proficiency test, or PCPT. This is a way of rating your fitness and gives the Army a yardstick for measuring your improvement and the efficiency of the fitness program. Men in need of additional training are assisted at special training companies located at each training center. There are five test events, including the 40-yard low crawl. This event is done against the clock and gauges your coordination and strength in performing one of the physical military skills. On the horizontal ladder, you are scored on the number of rungs you can make in a minute. This is a good measure of your arm and shoulder strength and your general muscular endurance. The dodge, run, and jump event tests your speed and agility over a course requiring sharp changes in direction. The 150-yard man carry evaluates your ability to carry a man or perhaps a greater than normal combat load at a fast pace. The fifth event is the mile run. The PCPT is scored on the basis of 100 points for exceptional performance in each event, making 500 a perfect score. Minimum Army fitness standards require you to score a total of 300 points. To be judged combat ready, you must score at least 60 points in each event. You will probably also find out during the first days of BCT about the aches and pains associated with the toughening stage of conditioning. This toughening period of discomfort lasts usually only a week or two. Then you'll enter the gradual improvement stage of conditioning as the soreness disappears and your capabilities increase. At first, your improvement may be dramatically rapid as you find yourself accomplishing feats with ease that were beyond you not long ago. The obstacle course helps you to master the acts of running, jumping, vaulting, climbing, and other valuable physical skills, while at the same time providing you with a competitive challenge. You will usually be allowed to go at your own speed, matching yourself against the course and not the clock. In the tough and strenuous grass drill, the exercises are not done in cadence, but at the best speed of the individual. But don't try loafing. You may wonder sometimes, just when you achieve a certain level of performance, why the drills seem to get rougher and the rest shorter. That's the overload principle in operation. If you are to progress and benefit from the exercise, it must extend you beyond your previous limits. That's how you improve. Guerrilla exercises are another example of rigorous but excellent conditioning activity you will encounter in basic combat training. Quick time! Four. Battle back carry! Four. Guerrilla refers to stealthy fighter, and the exercises are aimed at strengthening all major muscles and increasing your flexibility. The movable strength circuit is a layout of exercise equipment which you use in rotation to improve your muscular prowess. Introduction of different types of exercise activity into the program provides variety and balance and keeps you from getting bored. You will be taught combative techniques that call for a high degree of conditioning and rapid response. Hurry left! Vertical butt stroke! Two. Due to subversion and guerrilla-type warfare which confronts us in the world today, both combat arms and support service soldiers must be skilled in close combat fighting. Okay, ready now. Go! 
up and go my whistle. I'll blow the whistle when I detect the killing blow. Pugil training allows you to test your bayonet skill against a live opponent who can think, move, and strike back. If you don't get the other fellow, he'll get you. You'll also be introduced to dual combatatives without benefit of padding. These are designed to develop aggressiveness and give you confidence in your ability to overcome an opponent. Basic hand-to-hand -hand combat training teaches you how to deal with the enemy at close quarters. Okay, bring that foot back straight. Side check. Whew. To become expert in these hand-to-hand -hand combat skills takes a lot of practice. In basic combat training, you will be taught methods of bringing your man down quickly. One method is the head twist takedown. You'll also engage in some simple and vigorous group contests. Throughout BCT, you'll get some sort of conditioning activity just about every day, regularity being an important principle of fitness training. When you take your second PCPT near the end of the cycle, you can judge the results of the conditioning program for yourself. Average scores indicate that most of you will be in the best shape of your lives. Every effort is made to help you learn and qualify. Some of you will have qualified during your second PCPT as a result of having received personal attention. Special training companies located in each training center assist those with unusual difficulties. This is effective in bringing men up to qualifying level who might otherwise be separated as unsuited for Army life. 